This war has confirmed to us that the world does not see us as equal. Maybe it's the color of our skins. Maybe it is because we are on the wrong side of a political equation. Even our kingship in Christ did not shield us. So they say, if it takes killing 100 Palestinians to get a single Hamas militant, then so be it. We are not humans in their eyes. But in God's eyes, no one can tell us that. The hypocrisy and racism of the Western world is transparent and appalling. They always take the word of Palestinians with suspicion and qualification. No, we're not treated equally. Yet on the other side, despite a clear track record of misinformation, lies, their words are almost always deemed infallible. To our European friends, I never, ever want to hear you lecture us on human rights or international law again. And I mean this. If you are not appalled by what is happening in Gaza, if you are not shaken to your core, there is something wrong with your humanity. And if we as Christians are not outraged by the genocide, by the weaponization of the Bible to justify it, there is something wrong with our Christian witness and we are compromising the credibility of our gospel message. If you fail to call this a genocide, it is on you. It is a sin and a darkness you willingly embrace. Some have not even called for a ceasefire. I'm talking about churches. I feel sorry for you. We will be okay. Despite the immense blow we have endured, we, the Palestinians, will recover. We will rise. We will stand up again from the midst of destruction, as we have always done as Palestinians. Although this is by far maybe the biggest blow we have received in a long time. But we will be okay. But for those who are complicit, I feel sorry for you. Will you ever recover from this? Your charity, and your words of shock after the genocide won't make a difference. And I know these words of shocks are coming. And I know people will give generously for charity. But your words won't make a difference. Words of regret won't suffice for you. And let me say it, we will not accept your apology after the genocide. What has been done has been done. I want you to look at the mirror and ask, where was I when Gaza was going through a genocide?